already know it's at stake, man. Y'all know what we're playing for today, man. So let's go get it, man. Believe in this family. Okay, believe in it, man. Don't be selfish. Okay, put the team first. Hey, listen, man. We got another opportunity, baby, to take over again, man. Two years in a row, division title coming up, baby. Let's get it. Tua, hit, sack! Harold Landry with an even dozen. Touchdown, Titans! Deontay Foreman! I'm trying to tell y'all. Told y'all I don't blink, now. Huh? I appreciate you guys. I appreciate what you do. Okay, I'm proud to be your coach. I tell you that every week. You ought to be proud to be on this football team. We're just getting started. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday. Hey! Titans Blitz hanging out here at Nissan Stadium live downtown Nashville. I'm Lance Smith, but you don't care about me. You came to see this guy. Specialist Mark Mariani's in the house. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, if that intro doesn't fire you up, man. Oh, I'm ready. Don't, don't, don't show me a brick wall. I'm going to run through it about right now. Right? You wanted to be in the locker room with those oh, guys. All of it. All of it. Gives me the chills, Ladies man. Ladies and gentlemen, AFC South champs two times in a row. Back to back, baby. Hasn't been done. Isn't that a crazy stat, Mark? Crazy. Hasn't been done in 60 years. Crazy, man. Back to back in this organization. It's so crazy, man. And we're, we're living it as Titans fans. This is so much fun. These guys are absolutely rolling. It's, it's just it's been so fun to watch this season. Potential number one seed on the line. We'll figure it out this Sunday as the Titans take the road to play the Texans. We'll talk about that later. Uh, oh, yeah, Derrick Henry's back. Yeah. <laughs> The king. What? I buried the lead. Yes, of course. I'm sure you've been all over social media today. Derrick Henry, the king, has returned. He's been practicing. He has returned. We have some of that beautiful footage. We will talk about that uh, at the end of the show when we talk about this Texans game because that's what we've all been waiting for. Uh, but right now, how do we get to this point? Let's do hot takes with Mark. Uh, Mark, thank you for being here, man. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm happy to be here. You know I'm just driving this bandwagon bus, baby. You know <laughs> I me. know. You're good for that. It's go time. Yeah, it's go time. Playoffs, baby. Uh, hot team right here we've got with this Titan squad. Uh, this hot team was, uh, was on display. Sunday uh, against the Miami Dolphins, who had won seven in a row. This team was hot coming into this game. That's right. And the Tennessee Titans, you know, the 2021-22 Tennessee Titans, they're finding uh, so many ways to win. This defense has come out of the woodworks, and it's just become nastier and nastier every week. The offense, you know, we lose the king. These guys don't lose, don't skip a beat. And, uh, you know, we put ourselves in a position to go get this number one seed and give ourselves a week off. I'll tell you what, man, I, I, we have a task at hand here with the Houston Texans, but there's a lot of excitement in the air with yeah. the number one seed floating around. It's really funny to, to watch the Titans, you know, uh, figure it out and, and rework and rebuild the engine as we go down the road this season. But that front four was fully on display uh, <laughs> against Tua and company. And they look to wreak havoc in the playoffs. We started this season with offense first, mm -hmm. outscoring teams, scared right. of what the, of, of the defense. Now we have the number one defense in the league. That front four puts the fear of God into these quarterbacks. Yeah. And Tua just got flustered, man. He never got in a rhythm. And, and as, as the Tennessee Titans defense continues to play this way, yeah. we can take this on the road, we can take this at home, and we can beat any team in this league if they keep playing like this. It's a true story. You've seen and it. We've seen it this watch, season. Man. We are getting after people. People. Uh, kudos to Tannehill. I, I, you know, we, we got to point this out. There's the difference between uh, what we've seen uh, pre-Henry, without Henry. You know, with the, we had eight games with Derrick Henry. Uh, we had eight games without Derrick Henry. Tannehill's accuracy, 67% in the eight prior and the eight without. Uh, it's his yards per game that actually down. He was throwing 250 yards a game with uh, Henry in the backfield, but dropped down to 181 uh, without him. Yet our, but our running game stayed steady. Cheers to the offensive line. Cheers to Ryan Tannehill for keeping, keeping things moving, keeping things going down the line. It shows you what defenses do when number 22 is on the field. Exactly. If you, if you pack this box to stop Derrick Henry, we are going to throw the ball on you nonstop. Derrick Henry goes out. It loosens up a little bit, a little tighter coverage, and we just kept rolling down the hill, man. Our rush game came on. Yeah. Our O-line came together. We've been banged up. Yeah. We're getting healthier and healthier each week, but 
you can't give these guys enough love for keeping it all together. And, and Ryan Tannehill is a leader of this football team, and that's a huge reason why. Uh, somebody that does need love, though, because in all this chaos, uh, yeah, as you said, the, the, the run game kept – Motor running. Deontay Foreman, uh, who put up another 100 yards. Yeah, he gets plenty of woo. He needs more woo. That choo-choo train, baby. Uh, this guy has been quite the pickup for us. Uh, and, and running hard. I mean, hitting like Henry. Uh, what a pickup he's been. Uh, a great acquisition for the team. So hats off to that guy. I love watching him run. He's a one-cut, downhill, make you miss. He's got the same effect on these defenses that, that Derrick Henry has, where you give him the ball more. You, you, see it, you see it reap the benefits in the third and fourth quarter yeah. when they're just tired of tackling these guys. They're tired of Ben Jones and this offensive line putting their big, greasy paws on them. <laughs> they're tired of the physical, nasty yeah. identity that the Tennessee Titans have. And Deontay Foreman is just running downhill and running over people. It's the same effect. It's so fun to watch. It's not always pretty. But you look at how that scoreboard looks at the end of the game, 34-3, to 3, that's freaking pretty. It's always beautiful is what they say. Uh, and real quick before we go, uh, come on, guys. Mike Vrabel, coach of the year, has to be, has to be. With all that we've had to deal with, we've, we've suited up more guys than in the history of the league. Uh, I, I, I think I was a, a Titan at one point this season. <laughs> I saw him run out of the tunnel, actually, one time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, with all that he has to deal with, Come on, they give this guy his due, uh, but it's not over, and he would be the first to tell you that. Got to take been, care of business at hand. That's right. It's fine. We're not just talking about a team limping into the playoffs. Yeah. We're talking about a number one seed, getting healthier, finding ways to get Ws, even with the war of attrition. Yeah, he, he deserves everything, and it's, it's, it gives me chills again watching this guy lead, lead this group of men and continue to take this between the lines every Sunday. Yeah, as a fan, I love Vrabel behind the wheel. I'm liking what I see. Hey, we got lots more uh, Titans Blitz on the other side. Right now, though, here are some Nissan memorable moments. Stick around. DJ Pryor's in the house. He'll be right here. We'll be right back. Tucker Bailoa under pressure. Trap. Sack! Fourth straight game. Danico Autry. He's got nine on the year. Tucker Bailoa fires down the middle. Up in the air. And the ball is intercepted by the Titans. Intercepted on a deflection by Long. Woodside. Head to Hilliard. He's got room. To the Titans Blitz, we are live downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium, home of the AFC South champions. Let's go! Two times over these years. Uh, hey, welcome back to the show. Our friend DJ Pryor right here. Yes! My friend, my man. Good to see you again. Uh, so, before we get into this, was this bittersweet coming into this week? It, w thought? it was, man. I thought I had lost my job, guys, for those who don't know. My contract <laughs> technically had me to the last game would have been Sunday. Uh, unless something historic happened and, and, well, the stars aligned and, well, you know. We got, we got bonus football coming. Yes. That's what happened. Yes, that's what happened. That's what happened. And I'm proud of the way it happened. Did y'all watch that game? That was, yeah. that was amazing. Yes. That was amazing. Yeah, Even, and, see, and see what wins do regardless of weather? Yeah, it made me extremely cocky. I'll tell you that. <laughs> tell winning, you that. winning will do that yes, to you. Yes, it does. Uh, I want to talk about your season right now, but I, wanna, I want you to see this. This is great. I love what DJ Pryor does in, in capturing these games yes. uh, for us and the feeling, the moment, and the emotion. Grab your tissues. Here's DJ Pryor <laughs> and All Tightened Up. So I signed up to do DJ Pray all tightened up until January 2nd. And the only way I would stay on was if there was something I needed to cover, you know, something historic. And, uh, well, the stars aligned. And, well, you just gotta see it. Just take a look. It's real special. Somebody's grabbing my bike. Somebody's grabbing my bike. We get this dub today, and this will never end. We'll do this every Sunday together. I've got stuff inside my mask now. <laughs> Dear football gods, thank you for bringing us all here today for the final regular season game here at Nissan Stadium. Let us all perform admirably on top of our game, both on the field and in the control room, 
Let's create memorable moments. Let's inspire the team for a big victory. And let us all say, all say together, Amen. And just like that, David Prayer was heard. I'll show you how it went down. Miami has won seven in a row, and if that streak can reach nine, they make the playoffs. Tennessee, on the other hand, has a real shot to be the AFC's top seed. Okay, taking one of my last throws, man. How cold is it out here right now? Just know it's really cold. Never give up, just go harder. Sack! Plus, Wedges gotta sacrifice it all. Gotta do it. Touchdown! Corbin in the five. Yes! Corbin, touchdown! Titans! Big <laughs> tackle by low and loses the ball. It's Titan ball! Let's go, Ryan! Throwing downfield. The two time defending AFC South champions get it done again. AFC South. The boys are AFC South champs two times in a row. I thought we were all kidding when we said we were just getting started. You see it? Coming home. Playoffs. Stop playing with us, man. Take We are the AFC South champions. Let's go. Playoffs. Let's go. Me and my team coming back to work. DJ Pryor, all tighten up. <laughs> yeah, love it, love it. I want to point out the reason why I was whispering because my, my baby was in the room sleep. That's why. Oh, I, yeah. All us parents. It was all know. gangster to a baby wake up. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, real quick before we go, uh, you, you've finished your, you've completed your first regular season of yes. football. We got yes. the playoffs coming, but uh, what have you gleaned from this experience? Man, the game is so exciting. The game is so exciting, uh, and it's very competitive, um, and 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 it just man, all the other stuff doesn't matter. Like you know what I mean? Like outside of the things that's going on in the world doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, right. Here, you and it's focus. about it's, right. It's focus about the game, man. He gets it. The love of the game. He man. gets it's it. Dope. That's and that was the point of the whole show, man. Just yeah. to show people. Love of the game. Oh, man, I yeah. love it. I loved having you on. Yes. I, I can't wait to see what you do in the playoffs. Love having your family oh, come on epic. as well. It will. Thank you, brother. DJ Pryor, y'all. <laughs> Good to see you again, man. Yes, sir. Likewise. All right, we've got the Titans trivia gauntlet on the other side. Stick around, Titans. Blitz will be right back. AFC <laughs> South Champions. Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium, downtown Nashville. I am Lance Smith, joined by a few friends here in the house. It is now time for the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Roll it! That is my new phone ringtone, I think. Hey, all right, here we go. I'm sitting next to uh, Jeff and Brandon. Fellas, how are you? Great. Great? Don't get too excited now. You got real <laughs> prize on the line here. Uh, Jeff, I understand you're from Springfield? Yes, sir. And you are a founding PSL member. Yes, sir. Right on. Love it. And Brandon, you're a six-year season ticket member. Right? As long as I've lived in the area. So. Hey, that works. It's founding in your life. Yeah. All right, here we go. Jeff and Brandon. Jeff, you won the Rock, Paper, Scissor competition. What did you, Jeff, what did you win with? Rock, Paper, Scissor? Uh, I believe it was... It took a couple tries. I think it was a rock. You always go rock. Always go rock. All right, here we go. We've got uh, six questions for you each, and then a uh, final question. Uh, hopefully, we have a, might have a tiebreaker. Anyway, uh, they start easy, they get harder. Like I said, Jeff, you, you won the rock, paper, scissors question, so you go first with the first question. Here we go. Question number one. We need some eerie music. Uh, what is the name of the Tennessee Titans Conference, National Football Conference, the American Football Conference, the International Football Conference, or the National Football League? Uh, let's go with uh, American Football Conference. It's a lot of words. It's the AFC, that is correct. One point on the board for Jeff. Brandon, next question to you. What jersey number did Titan legend Steve McNair wear? That'd be three, five, nine, or 12? Nine. Mac nine, that is correct. One point to each of you. Question number three. Jeff, who is leading the Titans in sacks this year? Danico Autry, Harold Landry, Jeffrey Simmons, Bud Dupree. Um, I'm gonna say Harold Landry. Harold Landry has 12 sacks. He leads the team. Two points to you, Brandon. 
Your question, here it is. What is the maximum possible number of times in an NFL game that one head coach can call can challenge a call? The maximum number of times. One, two, three, or four? Two. Two. Actually, it's three. Yes, if he gets the second one right, he gets a third. All right, you still have the lead. Here we go. Uh, Jeff, question to you. Where is Super Bowl uh, 56 scheduled to be played in February? Hard Rock Stadium, SoFi Stadium, Nissan Stadium, or Caesars Stadium? Um, SoFi Stadium. SoFi Stadium, Los Angeles. Where the Titans will be. You got your tickets? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's what we're doing with that. All right, Brandon, to you. What NFC North team did Mark Mariani play for when he wasn't playing for the Titans? He uh, had an in-between time. Bears, Packers, Lions, or Vikings? Let's go Bears. Let's go Bears. He's, yeah, look at it. He doesn't perform anymore. Anyway, yes, point to you. All right, final question. It is worth two points. We are going, we are starting with Jeff, as you do have the lead. Who was the first individual player to be featured on the American cover of the Madden NFL video game? Vince Young, Chris Johnson, Steve McNair, Eddie George. First on the cover of Madden, which of those guys? I'm gonna go with Vince Young. Vince Young, and what say you, Brandon? You are behind by a point. This is worth two points. You gonna stick with the same answer? Or are you go with somebody else? Need an answer. Let's go Eddie. Eddie George, that's gonna give you two points and the lead. From behind, Brandon takes the win. It was Eddie George. You just won a mini signed helmet by none other than Jeffrey Simmons, the big Jeff. Yeah. Round of applause for these gentlemen right here. That is your Titans trivia goal. And we got to go to break right now. On the other side, Mark Mirani is coming back. We're talking about this game Sunday against the Texans. Stick around, Titans Clips. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. Lance and Mark back with you. Uh, let's talk about it. Yep. Big game close. Week 18. Sounds strange. Uh, it is strange. It's been confusing year. me all year, but Has look it? at the position we are in in week 18. Yeah. Not not a win and get in like we like we know so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we know it well. This is take care of business and own that number one seed. Uh, and and potentially, potentially, of course, Texans want to play spoiler. Potentially we've got Derrick Henry back, and this is what I wanted to talk to you about, Mark. <sighs> Everybody's been talking about, does he play, does he not? We the talked about this. No. Yeah, there's, a, there's so many variables to this, but as an athlete, I, I had to recover from a bone injury. Derrick has a bone injury, similar. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. I guarantee you, mentally, he wants to go out there and test it. He, looks he, he is a warrior. He's an alpha. He's an, he's an absolute beast. Yeah. And he wants to go test it. I'm sitting there as maybe Vrabel or J-Rob or one of these guys and saying, if we can go take care of business, which we fully intend to do, I think you give him two more weeks to rest because right. it's a bone right. injury. Right. But I will say the player, the alpha, the, 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 the beast in him, he wants to take the field. He yeah. wants to get hit. I'll tell you, if mentally for me, getting hit on my leg the first time I got back out there was one of those moments where I was like, all right. I can do we're, this. We're back. Man. We're back. And, and that he's going to have to have that moment at some point. Um, I like the idea of getting a bye and giving him two more right. weeks. But I also like any footage like we just saw of 2-2 back on the field. Thing. Yeah, right. Was, you can roll that beautiful footage all day long. He's getting it. All right. Well, so, so Smart Money says we don't see him play uh, on Sunday against the Texans. He, as a fan, I'm like, ah, oh, just a few snaps to knock the dust off. But yep. He's we not rusty like or dusty. Uh, he's Derrick Henry. He's going to be ready to go. That's Let's right. talk about the, uh, well, we'll say dusty, the dusty Texans. Uh, they yeah. want to play spoiler. I mean, that's all that's, that's in it for them. It's a divisional game. Is that, is that what these fellows are hitting the field for? You're a player. You this know. has to be one of the biggest games in, in Titans franchise history, at least in the, in the short you know, past here. And so the Tennessee Titans, I don't really care about the opponent. I don't know Davis Mills or any of these guys. I don't care about who they're sending out there. We got to be us. It's very simple. You do what you do best. Your identity is to go be physical, mm -hmm. smack these guys in the mouth. I promise you, these guys want to go to the offseason. The Tennessee, the, the, the Houston Texans have their vacations booked. Ah. All right? They have their bags packed. They're ready to go on vacation. Let's send them to, on vacation. Listen man. to that. Let's send them on vacation. Yeah. But you got to be you, which means yeah. that D-line and that, and that, 
you know, secondary flying around, making plays. Our linebackers, we saw David Long Jr. out there flying yeah. around, making plays. You smack these guys in the mouth in the first quarter. Our O-line gets their, like I said, their grubby paws on those guys and buries them. They're going to tap out right away. What you don't want to do is give these guys any inkling of hope that they're going to make this game, make this a game, and go win that number one seed, I want to be Sunday right now. Number one Snow's coming. Go Titans, baby! Let's go!